Lucas Media. So we got news coming out of boxing. And, you know, Shakur Stevenson, he's looking for a unification fight. But in the meantime, he wants to fight William uh, Zapadia. Now, William, who's 31-0, with 27 knockouts is currently signed to Oscar La Jolla's Golden Boy Promotions. Now Oscar, as y'all see in the image, said that he had good talks with Shakur Stevenson's representatives and said that he will let Shakur fight William as long as Shakur signs a contract with Golden Boy Promotions, which I'm sure they'll give him a filler fight at first and then, you know, he'll fight William Zapadio or probably around the last terms of his deal. Now, I've seen a lot of people out there, you know, they're saying that this is a duck move. Why won't Oscar let him fight Williams? I mean, him fight Shakur Stevenson? And, and let, me, let me just let me just be honest. I keep saying this. Boxing is 90% business, 10% the actual fight. Oscar, who, you know, I've had my issues with, but as far as him being a promoter, why would he let William fight Shakur? Well, he's not even a world champion yet. You gonna let him fight Shakur? Him beat your prospect just to turn around and have Shakur jump to a different network. That's not how it works, even with Devin Haney. As big of a fan I am as Devin Haney, when Devin Haney wanted to fight for unification against George Cambosis, he ended up signing a three fight deal with Bob Arum and Lou DeBella was George Cambosis' uh, promoter, promo uh, I believe they did some type of co-promotion, but he was partnered in on it as well. So what happened? He ended up fighting George Cambosis twice. Then he ended up fighting Loma and beating him. You know, all three fights were by unanimous decision. But that's how the game of boxing works. You know, no company is going to let you do that. No promotional company, especially when there's no governing bodies and there's no guarantee that if you beat my fighter, you're going to end it up be, you know, giving a wink, wink on the side. No, that's not how it works. So I have no problem with Oscar doing that. Now, I don't think Shakur should sign with Oscar De La Hoya. What's promised? You may get the Ryan Garcia fight. You may not. You know, Ryan Marbles is everywhere right now. You know, so what deep, what good side do you have with Golden Boy Promotions? This ain't Golden Boy Promotions from the 2010s, the 2011, 2012, where they had everybody, Broner, the Charlos, Wilder, the list goes on and on when Richard Schaefer was running it. Them days is long gone. You know, they got a couple of fighters, but they don't really promote fighters like that. And even with, I personally think that Shakur should sign with Eddie Hearn. If you sign with Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn knows how to promote his fighters. He backs his fighters. You know, he has one of the biggest platforms and he's with, he's partnered up with Turkey Al Sheik, the billionaire. The, the billionaire boys club over there you know what i'm saying so you can get a crazy check over there they mess around pay Shakur 25 million a fight and i'm just speaking hypothetical you know even with floyd i mean if you sign with floyd you know floyd and tank is beefing are you gonna have to do some type of deal with al Heyman? jay prince is your manager so how is that going to work so you're just better off signing with matram in my opinion in my opinion you see Jerome boots Ennis went over there several other fighters going over there you know, I remember everybody, even myself, used to get on Eddie Hearn, especially the way he fumbled the Anthony Joshua, Deontay Water thing, where we could have saw two undefeated fighters fight for undisputed, two black undefeated fighters. I see what he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Even with the zone, the zone's getting bigger and better, and you know, I don't like the color they ring. There's a lot of stuff I don't like, but I still watch the fight. So I definitely think that Shakur should go over there or just resign with top with top rank. If you stay with top rank and you become the golden goose, ESPN will probably be able to help you put a check up. Or, like I said, go to Match Room, partner up with the Saudis, and, and you know, and do it that way. Now you got leverage. But I don't think you should sign with Golden Boy Promotions, and I don't think you should sign with Mayweather Promotions. And if you become even a bigger fighter, uh, to where people are not saying you're a boring, fi boring fighter, and Cameron and Mace ain't falling asleep, you get the beating people up and having referees stop the fight they'll end up coming to you you know so i don't know shakur whatever shakur do i'm gonna support him but at the end of the day i don't think that he should sign with oscar de la hoya but y'all let me know in the comment section below am i tripping do y'all think that he would be better over there at golden boy promotions match him pbc or staying with top rank let me know